if you'll permit me to say so, sir, I think we've accomplished a good deal. It took took years to make Anklo watch the air. Certainly, we we, we can't expect it to involve your secret us in just a few months. Yes, but this all costs oh, money in that. Darling. Mr. Mack, how do you like me in this helmet? My dear Claire, I like you in anything. You're a gallant. I think I look awful in it. So do I. Now, Daddy, this is the time you're not to agree with me. Well, maybe someday I'll say something that meets with your approval. I have promised myself that, darling. Oh, look. How do you like me in it? In what? This hat. Copper. This. I think you're beautiful. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. You're watching PNT. I'm your host, offering you a quarter to go call someone who cares. Up front this week, according to an article by the Associated Press and numerous online sources, one town in Ecuador is finding a new, if slightly fuzzy, way to beat the heat. Residents of Quito, Ecuador have recently become addicted to a rather unusual flavor of ice cream offered by a local food stall, guinea pig. The stall owner, Maria del Carmen Pilapana, got the idea for the furry flavor after attending a free training course for prospective entrepreneurs. Out of work and with three children to care for, Maria took up the challenge of her instructors to find something innovative and soon began work on her inventory of fascinating flavors. Truly stepping outside the box, the rodent wrangler turned to traditional cuisine for inspiration. Guinea pigs, or koi, are a traditional dish often roasted and served with potatoes and peanut sauce. Not content to stop there, Mrs. Pilipanya also developed a line of 39 other unusual offerings, including beetle and mushroom-flavored ice cream. Although skeptical at first, her customers have come to relish the innovative ice cream, with demand for the cones of coolness growing rapidly, selling hundreds of servings every week. Not content to rest on her laurels, Maria plans to extend her efforts to include chicken, pork, and crab. For PNT's part, well, we have to salute Miss Pilipania's business acumen and admit to some curiosity about trying a cone ourselves. We have to point out the delicious irony of her customers eating pigs while eating like pigs. From guinea pig gelato to haunted hospitals, our next story in our weekly roundup of the weird takes us to India, where a hospital security system seems to have recorded evidence of the afterlife. The footage appears to show a wheelchair start moving under its own power, crossing the outdoor patio area of the institute before going down a ramp into a small garden at the bottom. Caught on two separate security cameras and witnessed by a security guard on site, the footage may just be the best evidence of existence beyond the grave. Although there are many pieces of hoaxed footage to be found on the internet, this one is unusual due both to the structure of the portico and the security guard witness. While the effect could easily be achieved with fishing line to pull the chair and start it rolling, the question remains as to where the hoaxers could be hiding. Given the length of the portico and the open nature of the area, the line would have to be very long indeed, and very strong in order to provide enough inertia to move the chair and start it rolling. This explanation also raises the question of why the guard failed to notice it or any suspicious activity in the area. Despite most of the staff being uneasy after the incident, not all are convinced of the supernatural origins of the footage, pointing to the movement of nearby shrubberies and wind as the cause of the possible porch poltergeist. For PNT's part, while we are generally skeptical of these types of videos, we have to admit there are some curious questions that would bear further investigation. Without that, we can only surmise that instead of surgical spirits, this video shows nothing more than a wheelie bad hoax. 
We'll be back with the final part of our program in just a few moments. But first, a word from our sponsor. Caught you this time with the same old problem. Don't you know there's a new proven way to end your dandruff problems once and for all? This is new Helene Curtis Andon Dandruff Treatment Shampoo. The first proven medical treatment in shampoo form available without prescription. Okay, now, just shampoo with Endon. Feels good, doesn't it? Now, comb your hair. Look at your comb. And this will make you even happier. Endon is guaranteed to end itching, flaking, and scaling due to dandruff. And to prevent their return. Sure, your wife should use it instead of an ordinary shampoo. And doctors approve Endon for children, too. What do you say now? I say if you've got dandruff problems, Endon is sure the easiest way to stop them. For good. That's Endon. Proved 99% effective. No prescription needed. Welcome back. And remember, if you're troubled by dandruff, be sure that you put an end to it with Endon. For the final part of our weekly roundup of the weird, PNT is pleased to bring you a remarkably clear piece of footage uploaded to the MUFON database. Taken on August 11th, the footage appears to show an odd pill-shaped object moving and changing shape in the skies over Woodbridge, Ontario, Canada. Let's have a look at the footage. is that? What the fuck is that?
So what was the object caught on tape this last August changing shape and moving rapidly through the sky over Woodbridge, Canada? Let's run down the possibilities. Getting the obvious out of the way, we can safely rule out birds, clouds, stars, and most atmospheric phenomena such as meteors. We can also rule out both aerial flares and lens flares, as well as camera artifacts. In a rare exception, we can also rule out drones, as they generally do not change shape, split apart into separate orbs, and then merge together again. At least, no drone we're aware of. And if they do exist, then shut up and take my money, please. That would bring us to our next and most likely explanation. Balloons. After correcting the insanely shaky footage frame by frame by hand for more than six hours, PNT was able to isolate the motions of the object. After finally getting something we could work with, we were able to determine several things. One, that the objects are solid and not the result of CGI or video manipulation. Under edge detection, we can clearly see that these are solid, physical objects. We then turned to the movements of the objects and the apparent morphing behavior we can see in the video. After close examination, we couldn't shake the feeling that what we were actually looking at was in fact a bundle of three or more silver-colored balloons that had broken free from a party and were being carried by the breeze. This would account for the morphing motions we can see and also explain the bright reflections visible as the objects twist about each other. Fairly convinced that we were on the right track, we kept digging, and this is where things got interesting. Using the foreground elements and the relative altitude of the visible clouds, most likely stratus clouds that form in the atmosphere at altitudes below 6,000 feet, we were able to roughly determine the size of the objects as being much larger than your average party balloon. Given that the objects clearly pass not under, but through the cloud base, tells us that in order to be visible at this altitude, the objects would easily be in excess of 10 feet across, and most likely even larger. This would seem to rule out the party balloon hypothesis but not necessarily balloons entirely. Weather balloons are easily obtainable online and would be of sufficient size to account for the visibility factor. But even here, we find more questions than answers. Weather balloons are generally sent aloft singly, not in pairs or groups of three or four. Even if this was a cluster of weather balloons, it seems odd that they would be traveling at such a low altitude. Weather balloons are designed to operate at extreme heights, whereupon they burst when the pressure differential between the upper atmosphere and that of the gases inside the balloon grows too great. Weather balloons are also filled with very buoyant gases such as hydrogen or helium that rapidly carry them aloft to altitudes above 60,000 feet, far too high to be visible from the ground below. That leaves us with the difficulty of explaining the sighting as nothing more than a simultaneous failure of the lighter-than-air gases inside three or more weather balloons, which then got caught in a cross breeze running below 6,000 feet in altitude, passing through a cloud layer in the process. So, with our balloon explanation literally running out of air, we can turn to the next possible explanation. Planes. As far as PNT is aware, no civilian or commercial aircraft exist that could duplicate either the silhouette or the motions of the objects in the video, including helicopters. This would apparently include military craft as well, but as we have seen many times in the past, we can never truly prove or disprove the possibility that this could be a test craft of some sort. As is our standard practice, PNT searched for airports and military installations near the sighting and discovered that there are no shortage of either, which would add to the possibility that this could be a military vehicle of some kind. There are moments in the footage where the object or objects seem to assume the triangular pattern 
often reported as a TR3B, but this could also simply be a case of pareidolia, the ability of the human mind to make recognizable patterns from random objects, such as seeing bunny rabbits in clouds. Either way, as is usual, we cannot prove or disprove this possibility. So, with our list running short and even our most likely explanation called into doubt, we can turn our attention to the possibilities presented by the unknown. Is it possible that the objects caught on tape by one witness in Woodbridge, Canada are exactly what they appear to be, unknown craft of unknown origin? Could these be extraterrestrial craft observing us for purposes known only to them? As strange as this may sound, PNT must admit that when we first saw the footage, we were immediately reminded of the sightings of cigar and pill-shaped craft that PNT has covered in a previous episode. The similarities are striking, and this sighting might just add to the mounting body of data that suggests that we are indeed being directly observed by beings from somewhere unknown to us, whether they be extraterrestrial, interdimensional, or perhaps even of a temporal nature. But what would their motivations be? What are they looking for, and why? As we have shown before, there is a common thread linking all of the reported sightings of these craft, the fact that they all occurred near or directly over wildlife sanctuaries, and this event is no different. PNT found that Woodbridge lies within 10 miles of three major conservation areas, the Nashville Conservation Reserve, Boyd Conservation Park, and the Clairsville Conservation Area. All are protected preserves with diverse flora and fauna, which makes one wonder why an obviously advanced race would choose these areas to visit. Could they be sampling our world? collecting specimens of our diverse ecology while they still exist. Perhaps knowing that the havoc we've wreaked upon our planet will drive many species to eventual extinction. Is this simple scientific curiosity? Or perhaps could their motivations be far more benevolent than we can imagine? That these collected specimens could be used at some future point in time to repopulate a world devastated by the ignorance and greed of its inhabitants. A species that seems to be either unable or unwilling to realize the fragility of the planet they inhabit and the need to repair the damage before it is too late. One can only imagine how small and petty we must appear to those unknown watchers and preservers of our environment, and how difficult it must be to watch the destruction of a rare and lovely jewel hung in the vastness that is our universe. Sobering thoughts for any species. But whether the remarkably clear objects caught on tape moving over Woodbridge, Canada were a stray cluster of defective weather balloons, an advanced piece of military hardware invading the airspace over a nature preserve, or something else entirely, we'll leave up to you to decide. Sound off in the comments section below with your thoughts. That's it for this time, faithful viewers. Be sure to click like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when PNT presents your next portion of the paranormal. I'm your host, reminding you to keep an open mind. Because a closed one shuts out the truth. Come on, ready? What's happened? Whom the gods destroy, they first make man.